Question seven. Lewis makes a call from a telephone box. And there he is. He has two pound in coins. He uses these five coins to make the call. 10p, 50p, 20p, 20p, 10p. How much money has he got left from the two pounds? Well, we don't really need to see the picture of Lewis, so let's scroll down. First thing we need to do is to see how much he's actually spent. Well, 10p and 50p make 60p. 20p and 20p makes 40p. So put those two together, you've got a pound, and then you've got an extra 10p at the end. So altogether, he spent one pound and 10p. Well, we need to figure out how much he's got left from two pound because he had two pound. So if we work out the gap from two pound to one pound ten, that'll be how much he's got left. So if we start with a two pound and do a column method subtraction, so two pound take away one pound ten, we'll get our answer. Some people may be able to do this in their heads, but it's worth just checking with a column method. Zero take away one, uh, zero is zero. Zero take away one, you can't do, so we need to borrow one. That becomes ten. Ten take away one is nine, and one take away one is zero. Don't forget your decimal point, which gets lined up with the other decimal points, and don't forget your pound sign. So this 0 0.90 pounds means 90 pence. So you can either write 90 pence using a pound sign, 0 0.90 like that, or you could write 90 pence. Notice on this occasion they haven't actually put any units inside the box, so that's leaving it up to us. But sometimes they do put a pence sign or a pound sign so you've got to be very careful with the units there, but this time we've got a choice, so either answer is acceptable.